For modern gardens and contemporary outdoor spaces like this, porcelain paving is the number one choice for the flooring. But you need to make sure you lay it properly and in this quick video we're going to show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is excavate 150 millimetres and we're going to add 100 millimetres of crusher or MOT type 1 and you need to consolidate that so it's really really firm. In this case we are relaying a patio over an existing one so I've removed the slabs from the old patio and we're reusing the hardcore as it's a good solid base. The next thing that you need to do is prime the slabs. Now there's quite a few products on the market but you don't want to use something like PVA glue or an SBR. You need to use a proper primer. Um, a slurry primer is ideal for this. Paint it on the back of the slabs um, or the tiles and make sure that you give a good coat. Don't get any on the surface of the tile because it's quite difficult to remove. Most porcelain tiles are 20mm thick for outsides and they need to be laid on a full bed of mortar. So that's going to give you around 30mm of mortar and it's very important not to have any gaps of air under there otherwise you'll get a hollow sound to the slabs. We're using a 4 or 5mm spacer here and I'd recommend that you definitely need to use spacers especially if you're laying paving like we've done here on a grid pattern. This is a 600 by 600 tile and can be used like this or a half bond. If you're going for a tile though which is longer, I'd suggest either a half bond or even one third because there can be a little bit of movement in these tiles and to get a perfect look, I would suggest using a one third method. Using these spaces is going to give you a really equal spacing and once you've placed the tile down make sure that you use a spirit level to get it level from side to side but make sure you have a fall of between 1 in 80 and 1 in 60 away from the house and towards some kind of drainage. The final job, probably the day or two after, is to grout the entire thing. You can either use a traditional external grout or you can use one of the more modern slurry kind of products where you mix it up, pour it on, leave it to set for a few minutes and then you brush it off. Make sure you clean all of this product off though because it will stain. I also got a little bit of hazing with this product so I used um, a haze remover and once you've jet washed it a few days later the whole thing comes up amazingly well. If you're laying porcelain patios you're probably looking for that contemporary inside outside living space and so really rather than lots of power washing and things it's kind of outdoor housework plenty of sweeping just to keep the leaves off and keep it clean and I just use a mop and bucket just like you would in the house just to give the patio a nice clean it does feel like more work because you're looking for a level of perfection that you may be not looking for with stone but the actual work involved is not as strenuous so although porcelain's not no maintenance it is very easy to keep clean you can treat it with a sealant but personally i haven't on this patio and i don't think i will we use the dark tile here which absorbs the heat it's great um, for kind of walking around on on bare feet it can get quite hot during the day so if you prefer to use a lighter colored patio because maybe you've got a brick house or it's a darker space and you want to bring in some light go for that just be aware that a lighter patio will get dirtier than something of maybe a mid gray good luck with your patio and i hope you enjoy relaxing in it as well as building it